greatest recording organization in the world, which embraces the His Master's Voice, Capital, Columbia, and Parlophone trademarks, presents a demonstration of their new stereophonic discs. Since the far-off days when man first heard a scratchy noise on a cylindrical drum, accompanied by staccato human tones, it has been his aim to add breadth and depth, to give realism and spaciousness, and even where it applies, to convey actual movement. EMI have been engaged in the search for this perfection in the form of stereophony since 1931, and in April 1955 launched his master's voice and Columbia stereosonic tapes on the market. Now, in 1958, you can hear the same wonderful sound from this new form of disc. Perfection is realism, and realism, roughly defined, is fidelity of representation and truth to nature with insistence upon detail, and that defines EMI's stereophonic sound. On this demonstration record, you can hear a selection of everyday sounds and a full and varied program of music. This will show something of the medium's possibilities and capabilities. Here's an experiment to begin with. As your host, I'm seated over here, on the one side of your reproducer, your left side. Now, leaving my chair, I'm walking over to the other side to show the effect of actual movement. Over to the right hand as you face me. Over to your other speaker. And now, well, I've arrived. I'm here. And the gain of perspective requires no more obvious evidence than your own ears. Again, to demonstrate the extremely realistic effect of movement with EMI stereophonic sound, I'm reversing the procedure and walking from right to left, where I shall remain. Now, let's get out and about. At one time or another, haven't we all wanted to be firemen? The urgent clang of the fire bell, the electric enthusiasm with which these men react to the call, have a tremendous fascination. So, let us join them. We can with stereophonic sound by EMI and an emergency call. is EMI stereophonic sound. We've had the old and the new, and now the fast and the slow, as our recording units set their equipment to work at Hay Station, right beside EMI's factory where this record was made. We've been told to expect the express through at any moment, and after that, a local goods train traveling in the opposite direction. 